I'm going to do a quick overview of NVDA. NVDA stands for Non-Visual Desktop Access and it's predominantly for people who have a visual impairment who are blind and need something called a screen reader to Im uh, read information on the screen. So essentially a screen reader interprets information on the screen and reads it back to the user. But it can also be useful for people who have a dyslexic type of difficulty or a, a literacy type of difficulty who might need to have information um, read back to them as well. So for example the buttons and menus, these sorts of things can be quite useful. So when you start NVDA, again it defaults down to the system tree, it's not obvious where it is. And when you go down there, I'm using the mouse, but you can, it tends to be um, used for keyboard shortcuts. But uh, if you're happy using a mouse, then it's, it's fine to do that. And I'm just going to go through this, the various settings that's, uh, that's there. So let's go back down into NVDA, into Preferences, and this is where you can set things like the voice synthesizer, uh, the type of voice that you use. It comes with a, a built-in voice called eSpeak. It's not terribly brilliant, but um, if you don't have anything else, then uh, I suppose it'll be okay. But it does use some of the, what's called the SAPI 5 voices, so some of the more modern voices. So if you have a, a decent voice on your compu computer, it will pick that up as well. So Preferences is where you can make all the sort of things that the way that you want it to, to be set up. Uh, voice settings, for example, the rate, the volume, the speed at which it speaks, all these things can be set and you can see the various voices that we've got here. So once you've chosen your voice, say OK, and see I'm just changing the pitch, you can also decide whether you want it to speak punctuation, uh, so you can really specify how much you want. But as I mentioned earlier, the, the proof for the, 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 the real use of MVD is to, to be used alongside keyboard shortcuts. So if you do want to use keyboard shortcuts, just by going into the help section, you can see there's some key, keyboard commands. You only need to learn a few. For example, um, maybe navigating around the page, switching the speech off, starting it up again. Uh, and you can see there are quick shortcut commands that you can really control MVD much more efficiently. So quite good for people who have um, a dyslexia type condition if they want to navigate and have information read but excellent for anybody who can't afford some of the higher end uh, keyboard uh, screen reader programs like JAWS for example MVED will do a very good job of that and then once you've finished that you can save your settings as an option there to save the configuration and exit from it and then you can see the icon disappears and that's MVED off